time in 2007 and 2008, scandals involving the quality of imported Chinese products dominated the news in the United States. Although the Made in China brand took a hit for many in America, the scandals have faded into memory. Consumers in China, however, have had to deal with a seemingly never-ending series of revelations. The food industry has been especially hard hit. Right after came the Olympics came tainted milk, then fake eggs, and now comes word that a brand of popular rice may not be all that it claims to be. The UN's Matt Schrader has more. To say that rice is a big deal here in China is an understatement. The country grows nearly 130 million tons of the stuff a year. 30 million tons more than any other country. The average Chinese person eats more than a half pound of it a day. So when word broke that a popular kind of rice sold across the country called wuchang rice, seen here, may be largely fake, it sparked a media feeding frenzy. This video is from a report done by China Central Television, the main state broadcaster. In it, the journalist brings a hidden camera to a wholesale rice market in the city of Xi'an. The market is the largest staple wholesale market in the northwest of China. Every kind of rice imaginable is sold here. One kind that's especially popular is called Wuchang rice. It's grown in Wuchang County in the northeastern province of Heilongjiang. The rice is famous for its smell and as such it commands a healthy premium over normal, less fragrant rices. At markets nearby the BON offices in Beijing, bags of Wuchang go for as much as double the price of other rice. But as this journalist found out, the Wuchang rice found on market shelves around the country may not be everything it seems to be. Carrying an undercover camera and posing as a buyer, the journalist got a look at the dirty underside of the rice business. Inside this company's warehouse, workers point out to him several bags of Wuchang rice stacked up against a mountain of bags of other kinds of rice. With so little Wuchang rice on hand, how could they possibly sell enough to make a profit? Turns out that the rice the company's packaging and selling as Wuchang is hardly Wuchang at all. Workers in the factory take a bag of this ordinary rice and then mix it with a tiny quantity of wuchang rice. The final product is then packaged as wuchang rice, ready to be shipped off and sold to unsuspecting consumers around the country. But since wuchang is known for its hearty smell, won't they be able to tell the difference? Not a problem for this rice supplier. Before the rice is packaged, an artificial fragrance is sprayed on it. When the journalist smelled it, he said he got a nose full of rice fragrance. The case has caused an uproar. Part of the reason is that one of the suppliers interviewed by state TV said that although only 800,000 tons of real Wuchang rice are grown every year, over 10 million tons of rice is packaged and sold as Wuchang rice. For some people here in Beijing, it's just another thing for them to worry about on their dinner table. Stuff like this makes me angry. This is the rice that we eat every day. I'm definitely going to pay closer attention when I'm buying rice from Heilongjiang. The case has got rice sellers on edge, too. One rice stall in Shanghai, interviewed by a local TV station, had this to say when asked about the rice that they were selling as Wuchang rice. Where's this rice from? Let me have a look at the bag. No way! Jeez, you're annoying! Another shopkeeper in Shanghai had this to say about the quality of Wuchang rice. I think this Wuchang rice isn't as authentic as it used to be, because it used to be long grains, really fragrant. Now you can't find that kind of rice anymore. Local governments across the country have scrambled to react. Xi'an city government seized 60 tons of rice from 16 companies and shut those companies down pending quality inspection. In the city of Wuchang in Heilongjiang, the mayor ordered six companies shut down that TV reports indicated had been importing cheap rice from other areas of the country and then reselling it as genuine Wuchang rice. For his part, the mayor of Wuchang says the rice supply in his city is trustworthy. We've undertaken an investigation of all the businesses in Wuchang that operate on the rice market. Up to this point, we haven't found anyone producing or selling fake rice. But we're going to keep looking. Any business we're unsure of will be shut down pending an audit, and we'll only let them back on the market once we're assured there's no problems. Despite reports of fake Wuchang in Shanghai media, Shanghai city government says that their rice supply checks out as well. The overwhelming majority of Wuchang rice in wholesale market warehouses in the city is actually from Wuchang. It's passed quality inspection, its place of production has been verified. We haven't discovered any of the problems reported in the media. 
For their part, consumers and rice sellers here in Beijing think that as long as they stick with known brands and known suppliers, fake wuchang rice shouldn't be a problem. You really shouldn't go to little stores to get your rice. It's not a good idea. It's not all rice, I think. As long as you go with the big brands, you should be okay. The people in the wholesale markets here—they've got their own brands. They're absolutely going to make sure there's no problems with the quality. If someone spent ten or fifteen years building up a brand, do you think they're going to cheat you? No way. As is often the case in China, the true extent of the problem remains unclear. It appears the government's regulation of food safety still has a long way to go. It's likely incidents like this will continue to pop up for the simple reason that there's so much money to be made with fake products. Policies from above can only do so much. The people down below are always going to have their ways, especially when there's profit involved. Match Raider, BON. Makes you think. Well, what you're actually eating, doesn't it, Ali? Yeah, I guess so. Rice being such an important staple yeah,、uh, quite. staple by here in China. Now, one thing that was very revealing、uh, in that report was that the workers、uh, in those units that reporters looked into,、uh, they gave a very、uh, interesting indication of the thinking behind this. They they actually didn't think they were doing anything wrong、uh, by adding this artificial fragrance to this rice. And as for those who, you know, were the the managers, the masterminds of this,、um, for them, there's、uh, very little incentive not to do this because the punishments, if they're caught,、uh, up to now, they've been Very small, but the profits are huge in this business. You're absolutely right. Wu Chang rice sells at、uh, just up to two dollars a kilo, while common rice sells、uh, for about a third of that. And the artificial scented rice yields a profit of 0.4 yuan. That's 0.7 dollars per kilogram. So a huge margin, as you say, Ali, in, in the rice industry. Yeah, and、uh, one of the men、uh, representing Wu Chang in that said there were no problems with exports, but actually,、uh, you know, between three and five thousand tons. Of this rice、Staggering. gets sent to South Korea. Now we don't know if that is,、uh, you know, f- fake Wu Chang rice or is, if it's、uh, come under the same problem as、um, what was mentioned in that, in that report. But it could lead to,、uh, you, you know, diplomatic incident, huge, huge business problems between South Korea and China because South Korea has a lot of rice too.、Um, and, and you know, it doesn't work just one way.、Uh, a report in the、uh, Chongqing Economic Times reported on Sunday that actually a lot of Thai fragrant rice, another very famous brand of rice,、uh, in China. Is fake.、Um, one expert estimates that up to ninety percent of Thai fragrant rice in Chinese markets、uh, could be fake.、Uh, you know that that opens up a whole new kind of world. It certainly does. You know, looking at that report, you just you have to admire almost the fraudsters' kind of initiative. That sort of actually spraying the scent on the rice, so it even smells exactly. like the real thing. Exactly. Well, you know, extraordinary. Up till now, it's been they've been successful. We'll see how much longer that.